Hi, my name is Jessica Poe. I'm from Colleen, Texas. And my question today is, how do you find healing when you find yourself burdened with sinner's guilt? Amber, what are your thoughts I, on that? Well, I feel that daily prayer as far as asking Heavenly Father to help you to be able to see yourself as He sees you, or for Him to help you to be able to see others as He sees them. We can be some of our worst critiques on ourselves. Mm -hmm. I know I am. Um, so I think, you know, to be able to ask Him to help you to be able to see others as He sees them, I think that helps you to develop a, a true, sincere love for those and for yourself. You can't really love others if you can't love yourself. So, Dan, what are your thoughts? Unfortunately, my first thought doesn't go to the New Testament. It goes to the Book of That's Mormon. That's okay. Let's um, go there. Yes, teach but, us. But in the Book of Enos, back to a, an account that I, that I really do love in the Book of Mormon, Enos has exactly that same question, right? God says, I've forgiven you your sins. And he's like, how exactly? And, and, and God gives his answer. And what Enos ends up saying is something like, and I knew God couldn't lie. So when I look at sometimes of this forgiveness, I think it's not just that you need to hear that Christ forgave you. You actually have to believe that Christ doesn't lie. Right. Mm -hmm. so, so when that man is lowered down from the roof and Christ says, your sins are forgiven you, that man knows that Christ doesn't lie. There's a, there's a sincerity that lies behind that. Your trust and your faith in Christ and God the Father rest in the fact that you inherently know he doesn't lie.